Okay, folks, uh, we are back with Gold Rush. This is Scott, a bit frustrated. Uh, my own fault, for the most part. Um, as This is about the uh, fourth recording of just this one part. And uh, let, let me uh, say that it has been quite an adventure to get here. I started off, as I've actually said this a few times in my attempts to make this video, started off, it took me two times initially to get back here and be healthy. Unfortunately, uh, the time before that, the ship sank. Um, and that's one of the other random things that happens. You hit an iceberg. Unfortunately, um, another event that we'll see in a bit was triggered, um, or it has to be triggered, but we actually died from it. And when I attempted to restore, apparently the game did not save properly. Now, it has saved properly. I've restored a number of times, so I know that it is properly saved now. However, um, in order to get here, it was actually probably five, six, seven, maybe even ten times that I uh, had to go through the game, back from Brooklyn, turned on the game on fastest, and turned off all the messages, but we were able to get here, though it took a while, a bit frustrating, but we're here, uh, and I just kept dying of cholera beforehand, the sh ship kept sinking, all sorts of problems. In any event, we're here. I have tried to record this a few times, however, I've had a little bit of problems with the recording and also fouled up once uh, within the game. And uh, so hopefully this time is going to be the winner. Uh, it, I do see the that the camp studio is actually recording this time, which is of uh, uh, great uh, thrill to me. So we're going to move expeditiously. I'll uh, give you a little bit of commentary, let's say, after we do this, just so I don't have to record this again. Apologize, folks. I don't want to rush through it for you, but I also want to uh, make sure that <laughs> we can get these videos out at some point. So, um... Okay, we're going to head downstairs. Now, uh, one thing you might notice is our friend is no longer up there. It seems like he has met his untimely doom, if you recall, talking to him. He actually, um, pardon me for a second. Uh, he actually, I'm just taking that stick, and uh, it just says they don't mind us taking it. It used to be the shovel. Anyway, um, I don't think the game explicitly tells you that uh, our buddy is no longer of the, on this earth, but um, it's implied. I think it does say a man has died, and we're supposed to uh, know that that is our... Um, our friend. Anyway, this is the place to fish, but how can you use a fish without something to use as a hook? We're going to pause for one second, folks. Sorry about that. Okay, uh, sorry about that. Uh, one thing I did do, I did, um, I went through and grabbed everything we needed because you are on a very, very strict time limit. I don't know how you're supposed to know, but you need to get the staple, uh, paperclip, pardon me, from the captain's office, though it never mentions it before. You have to know to get metal scraps from the boiler room. You have to know to get the string from the um, bunk room, and you have to know to get that stick from downstairs that we got. So it took me a couple tries, but when I got up here, I pretty much just to roll right away. I didn't want to interrupt with any of the commentary, just because that would uh, delay things a little bit, and so I did that. Uh, you can take my word for it if you're playing the game. Uh, remember the clips in the, off uh, the office, the string is in the bunk room, the scrap is in the boiler room next to not, not the boiler room. Well, where the um, engine is, I guess, near where the guy's standing. Uh, you actually have to get the ham, too, as the bait, and then you have to get the stick from downstairs. So um, hopefully um, you caught all that, and um, we are now here fishing, and fortunately I think we'll be okay. So this is probably the most challenging of the versions, I guess, to get to um, California. In any event, we have done so. Um, unfortunately, our friend didn't make it. Or we actually have not done so yet, but uh, we have done, I think, the final uh, puzzle of the game. Probably the hardest puzzle in the game, at least up until uh, getting to California. Anyway, it says, You pull the string you found in the bunk room out of your pocket and attach one end of it to the wooden stick. The other end you attach to the paper clip. And you tie the metal scraps from the engine room to the string a few feet from the paper clip. And last, but certainly not least, you gladly take your piece of pork out of your pocket and carefully place it on the paper clip so that it won't fall off. With great anticipation, you lower this makeshift apparatus into the churning sea. Let's hope it works. So you can't eat that ham because it's spoiled. Fortunately, the fish can eat the ham. Or I guess it doesn't really matter since they will soon be caught. I don't know. It's one of these other things, too, uh, such as the stagecoach where you were, I'm not doing anything here, by the way, um, where you were um, finding the spoiled meat, which I guess you can eat then, and um, had a drink, but nobody else needed to, and apparently you're the only one who has to actually eat the fish. Once again, Jared, you have saved the day, the lives of those around you. Wait, everyone's going to eat that one fish? So we're entirely responsible, once again, for all the pro uh, everything. 
Okay, this is uh, starting to stretch my, uh, my, uh, my realm of belief. I'm a, I'm a tad incredulous about some of these puzzles and some of the role Jared has played. It's also interesting that Jared grows quite the hefty beard while he's on the stagecoach, but apparently he is able to shave while he takes these two boat journeys? Okay, I, I guess so. Anyway, so we've saved the day. Hooray. And hopefully, um, that is that. You reel in the catch of the day and share of your comp companions. Now you will all make it to California, except for the guy who died. Pause the game just to save. No real messages are coming up. As the ship nears California, begin to forget the hardships and tough times you have just endured. Oh, I'm not for uh, forgetting that. The promises made to the Almighty while rounding the Cape are all but forgotten. Well, that's, that's a shame. Uh, somehow those times don't seem as tough now. <laughs> well, I guess that is human nature. Anyway, much more important now is the topic of nearly every conversation on the ship where people plan to go to search for gold and how they are going to get it and what they are going to do with the fortune they discover there. There is also much fretting and worrying about arriving too late and missing out on the best opportunities. I'd be kind of happy just to have my life, uh, to be honest. Hopefully there will still be plenty of gold left when you get there. For the crew, no portion of the voyage is without danger. They must maintain their vigilance to the very end. You're fortunate that the ship has a sufficient supply of coal to make it to California. Other steamers ran out of coal. While that happened, spars, doors, bunks, and portions of the deck were ripped up and fed it into the firebox to keep the ship moving toward, that gold, toward the gold fields. The ship is now approaching the Golden Gate and your journey is approaching its end. The dense fog makes it difficult, not to mention dangerous, to find the entrance to the Golden Gate. So I guess it's a little harder this time. Um, all hands are on deck as you approach California to the gold-seeking passengers on board is the long-awaited promised land. Everyone cheers for the captain as he guides the ship through the Golden Gate. The shoreline is covered with lush green plants. What a beautiful sight! The bay is filled with boats of all kinds from every country. The boats and ships are too numerous to count. It looks as if they are stacked on top of each other, but they seem to be deserted. Everyone on board is sure they are too late now. Energy levels run high among prospectors on board. They know there is no time to waste. The captain takes you across the bay up the Sacramento River. I got 95 out of 95. You're on the right track. The right track? All right, whatever. <laughs> I'll take it. All right, so somehow we got all the points that time, but not the other time. All right, we know what to do, don't we? Okay, we're off the ship. Get on, coach. We jump on board. And off we go. All right. Sorry for the uh, rushed amount, um, or rush, rush nature of this particular let's play. I'm just, I guess, a little, a little too frustrated from the uh, earlier event. Hopefully, I didn't push it too much for you. Um, I don't think you really missed out on too much. So this is definitely the most frustrating. At first, I thought it was the most interesting, but uh, it posed the most challenges. I think those random events really just take you for a ride the most on that the long journey. Anyway. Um, you don't want to eat the pig on there. I didn't show you the death actually, but it's uh, pretty nasty. I don't know. Has anyone had food poisoning out there? I had. I had it once. Um, I would not wish that my worst enemy. I, I at first I was thought I, I was afraid I was going to die, and then I was afraid I wasn't. So as unpleasant, I'll certainly spare you the details. Um, but if I, I can only imagine what eating rotten pork is like. Um, though once again, somehow that didn't bother us too much when we were out in uh, the desert on the coach time, uh, run. In any event, we are here. We are done with all three um, portions of the journey, or all three options to make it out west. I hope you had some fun there. I hope uh, it wasn't too frustrating, at least on your end. Anyway, we're going to start off here. We could start off, I guess, from this one. It doesn't really make much difference. We have full points from this one, so maybe that's the way to go. 
and uh, I don't think there's too many other random events that come up. So we'll we'll get going next time, and we'll see what California and Fort Sutter's like. And will we find our brother? Well, we'll find out in the upcoming e editions of uh, Gold Rush Let's Play by CR Games Scott. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>